I think TikTok like blew it up even more, but I personally bought this serum. I honestly could not stand the smell. The smell just, I, it just drew me nuts. Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Thank you guys so much for being here. If it's your first time here, my name is April. I do skincare videos, beauty videos. I'm pretty much your skincare, hair care, beauty bestie. So if you want to just chat with me every week on this page, please hit the like button, subscribe, and join us because we are a growing family of beauty lovers here and we have so much fun talking about skincare with more of a science perspective. A little disclaimer before the video starts, I've been pretty sick, been under the weather. Honestly, this is like the first time I've actually felt like myself and I didn't want to keep you guys waiting any longer because it's been a minute since we talked on this page and yeah I'm starting to feel a little bit better and I hope that for anyone that's sick out there because I know there's definitely something going on because I'm not the only one that's sick in my family I really wish you a speedy recovery um yeah happy winter by the way also um it's the end of 2023 Psh, insane right but anyways, you guys, let's just dive into this video. I'm really excited to talk about today's video because this is something that I wish I had when I was looking for products, you know, for my um, issues when I was dealing with them. And yeah, I'm excited. Let's get into it. So as you guys can tell, we're going to be talking about the five serums that are going to be amazing for hyperpigmentation. These serums I have just really researched really well because I really wanted something that would be really effective. And a lot of these serums actually have a lot of multi-active ingredients or functional ingredients if you will that will really really help target your hyperpigmentation help to relieve all of those like dark spots that you might be dealing with or post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation that you're dealing with and so i think you guys really find these serums really beneficial for your hyperpigmentation i'm sure as you guys probably could already guess the first one is going to be the ordinary copper peptide if you've been watching my videos you know i did an in-depth review of this copper peptide serum from the ordinary because it got so many requests to do it and you guys it really is that girl i have been using this for I'm almost out of the bottle you guys and I've I'm obsessed you guys it has been a game changer in my morning skincare routine I just I love it so much I mean the color is like really blue but that's beside the point it's aesthetically pleasing is what I'm trying to get at but it's also really functional which I just I'm obsessed with that and um it's great as you guys know from the video if you haven't seen it you can definitely check that video out here i talk about how studies have shown that it's lots more effective than some vitamin c serums and it's even better for people who have sensitive skin although it's not compatible with vitamin c and it's not compatible with retinoids because it just cancels each other out but it it's very very effective with like hyperpigmentation and also firming your skin so if you're older this might actually be a better investment for you compared to vitamin c but i have definitely seen a huge difference in like brightening my skin like my sister before would be like oh like your skin isn't glowing as much but like now since i've been using copper peptide she always told me my skin is glowing if you've been living under a rock like i was with copper peptides you definitely want to check out that video but definitely my number one hands down and this video is not in any particular order but i definitely would say firsthand that this one is it's high up there okay if you're dealing with pih or hyperpigmentation and you have sensitive skin she's your girl next is this one the regimen lab even skin serum i actually just found this one i can't wait to try it for myself i would buy it right away but I've, I'm, I'm working on not jumping into the consumerism that is skincare and beauty these days i'm trying to be you know mindful of my spending but i definitely looked into the ingredients and i can say i mean plus reviews i can honestly say that this would be really amazing on your skin it's got nine active ingredients that help fight both short-term and long-term hyperpigmentation five percent niacinamide which you guys know it helps with oil control and also hyperpigmentation because it is a tyroxinase inhibitor and in tandem with that it works with something called nag and i'll pop up the name right here here. it's a peptide that helps to firm the skin it's also got tranexamic acid which helps it with discoloration of the skin as well as hexa resorcino and afrobutin which helps to brighten the skin so this one is really really packed with ingredients that i'm sure you guys really find beneficial i saw so many comments on like social media people saying that this serum is the truth so if you can definitely check it out i stand by it chemist approved next is topical spade serum i'm sure this one comes as no surprise to you guys topical spade serum has been on everybody's lips like since tiktok came out i think tiktok like blew it up even more but i personally bought this serum i honestly could not stand the smell like the <laughs> the smell just I, it just drew me nuts the reason why it has that smell actually is because of glutathione which is a brightening ingredient but um, glutathione actually has a cysteine group in it and that's what basically causes that smell 
everyone is like, what is this sulfur smell? You guys, what is this rotten egg smell? I mean, whatever it smells like to you, it's just not a pleasant smell. I heard they came out with a version that doesn't have that smell though. I haven't tried that one, but the one that I did have was the one that was really popular for the smell. But it's very functional. I will say for me, I, I couldn't really use it on my face because it does have shea butter. I try to stay away from oils and, you know, waxes and butters from my skin because I do have oily skin. My skin leans more towards oily. But if you have more drier skin, you definitely will probably find this more valuable for you. It's definitely going to help with hyperpigmentation, discoloration, brown spots. It's also good melatonin, as a leak acid, and scintilla asiatica to really just like help soothe your skin, prevent your skin from feeling like it's itchy or burning up from you know inflammation that can sometimes cause a lot of burning sensation so yeah this is definitely one i definitely recommend for drier skin types especially all right second to last product here is going to be the Naturio multi bright tranexamic acid serum this one has got a five percent emulsion of tranexamic acid it's got kojic acid afrobutin which is a plant derived version of hydroquinone and acetylglucosamine which will help to target dark spots discoloration fade uneven skin tone and brighten uneven areas of your skin for more bright and looking complexion so i definitely think this would be a great bang for your body it's also very inexpensive so anyone can really get their hands on this one I really like Naturium as a brand I think they're always like exploring their brand and trying different things which I love about a brand I think any brand should be always wanting to try something new and see how else they can cater to their customers and make their brand a lot more accessible to different subgroups of people. All right, last one here and definitely not least is this one by Paula's Choice is your Discoloration Serum. The major ingredients here targeting hyperpigmentation is 3% tranexamic acid, 5% niacinamide, and 0.5% bakuchio. Bakuchio is a plant dry version of retinol, so if you have sensitive skin or if your skin just cannot handle retinol, this will definitely be a great alternative for you. Tranexamic acid, like we've already talked about, is great for discoloration, targeting dark spots, spots and even skin tone and of course niacinamide for controlling oil as well as augmentation so all of these products honestly you really can't go wrong it really depends on your skin type and what your skin can handle if you have more oily skin definitely go for the ones that don't have that much butters and waxes and oils that can potentially break you out if you have more drier skin definitely go for those instead so hope you guys found this video really valuable i really did a deep dive into the products that are currently in the market right now to really help find different products that can suit different types of skin so if you found something in here that can help you Please make sure to like the video, subscribe, and join the family because there's going to be a lot of these videos rolling out. We're going to holiday season and I'm so excited to show you guys products that can help you guys transition into the fall winter season. I'm so excited for yeah, all the videos that are going to be coming up your way. Make sure to check out the videos at the end of this video that are definitely related to this video to maybe help further explain things like transitioning acid if you didn't know what that was. There's videos I'm going to link at the end that can help clarify that for you. Be sure to join the family. Make sure to join a family really, really helps us reach more beauty lovers. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.